Fine Crafting Week here with you and today I'm here to do some cards with some recycled ma material and some stuff in, from my stash and uh, I'm going to be using some uh, paper, painty paper that I made because I wanted to do a little card set to put into this little pocket and uh, so I figured we could do this together and if we finish it then to, when you see the video it's going to be in my Etsy store and by the way i want to thank everybody that's been um that's been supporting my etsy store uh, that's the way you know i pay for a lot of the supplies that i use so i really appreciate everybody's support um it's it's really appreciated so i use my nice uh card stock this is from ac AC cardstock and I want to make five so we don't need this one and so we'll just make the cards and see how it goes along I didn't think I was gonna put the timer because I need the five cards so I'll just uh, make the cards and um, when it's finished it's finished so I made this five by four so I cut out my paper at the 8 mark and then at the 5 mark so that I could fold it in two and make some 4x5 little cards and that fit in, into that little pocket and the little pocket afterwards can be used uh, to make a journal if you so wish. I'm trying to put the um, textured cardstock on the exterior this way it makes it a lot easier when you want to write to write in the inside so this is the same paper as I've got for I made it at the same time I should say because it's obviously not the same because I can never make two things exactly the same so every piece is a bit different and you can see this one I put some gold I didn't put gold in this one uh, I think this one I put some other splatters so I just figured we were going to use that and then some book paper where did I put my book I usually had a book right there oh I know where I put it I put it so that it'd be easy to access <laughs> and of course I forget okay so here we go. I've got some book paper. And uh, I also have my bin here of all kinds of scraps because I figured I could, I could use those. I want the cards to kind of feel like a set so that they go with um, what the, the, the little pocket outside. And I found a bunch of different birds that I thought would be very pretty on this. So that's that's the big goal. So I'm just going to tear it because as you can see I used a, a calendar to do this and I'm recycling because those calendars otherwise would have ended up in the trash kind of okay so that I have this from um, the Anna package something for me in uh, ledger paper and I've kept it now I'm finally using those little pieces want interest but at the same time I don't want to cover all of my painty paper and which bird Sh 
choose the birds and then you can see how it looks. I think it's this dark white underneath that's throwing me off. I'm not putting that. wrong. And clearly my calculation is wrong. I have one that has bigger pages. Well, they would be bigger if I tear them properly. Okay, so. This type of bed. Oops. It's because there's no mark for the the five, so it kind of throws this thing off. Okay, so let's try this again. We will see if this works for me. I think it might work a lot better. I'm 
want to distress the edges for sure. Okay, let's glue this down. Let's commit to this. Be careful because this paper is this old and it it tears easily. And obviously, the tea cleaner actually tear the whole thing off. Okay, so put that there. Trim the edges. I much prefer to have to trim the edges than to have cut it too too short. Okay, so here we go. And then I've got a vintage photo. Actually Age mahogany. I use age mahogany or I go more bold. Okay, let's try something more bold. red but that might be pretty and I don't use my other inks very often so it's a good chance to use them up okay before I commit to putting it on the piece that I want permanently let's put it on this and see. Yeah, I think I like that. And it's just paper anyway, so if I really mess up and I don't like it, I have another card base I can always use for this set. Actually, I think this is quite pretty. And this as part of this, I think it's really pretty. Yeah. Got a winner. Paper's too thin for putting uh, my tape runner. This is still some packaging that that I had gotten from uh, from Doreen. this. I don't know if it still works. Is it dry clear? I'm 
just says that it's uh, past drying. So I'm not sure I'm not going to use that. I need a glue that's going to dry clear. And I didn't open up that one, I think. Or maybe I did. I'm totally going to do exactly this. This is what I thought I was going to do. Pick myself. Because of course I should be using my glasses. And I'm not. It might not be open. Wow, now it's open. Okay, so we've got a winner for for the rest. Okay, so put that on the back of this. This is Cosmic Shimmer Glue. Supposed to be really awesome. So here's my first card. Woo, that took a long time. And now I have a better idea of what I want, except that I'm missing one page to be able to make this. Okay, so. Okay, put this, put that away. Actually, why did I put that away? I, put, I need two. I'm doing five cards. The uh, I don't know why I cut it there, because I could have just done my cut here. Oh, there's these like that. Okay, so got all the the stuff to cover them all. Let's cover them all to start with. Put the cap on. Okay, so let's do this. Edge them all. Actually, I, I glued it before I edged. Got feeling it's gonna be a video of a lot of boo boos. Put them in frame. My husband and my father are outside working on the deck. Finally getting close. Can't wait to show you guys the finish look. Oh, I'm that I should do a vlog before it's all finished because um, it's gonna take a while for the kitchen to be finished because enjoy the deck and possibly the pool. Um, so we won't be finishing off the kitchen. The island is not gonna get done 
and uh, I'm gonna change my countertops and that won't get done either right away and I also want to change my appliances to stainless steel and um, that will also have to wait so that it's getting there I can see I can see the end of the tunnel which is quite good because it's been uh, it's been a while of construction and it's pretty discouraging Got a mark here. Put a little clear bins on my table, and now I'm no longer searching for my eraser. It's in one of the little drawers. It makes it a lot easier. Okay. So now I can do all of these. Chain assembly should make it faster for the other ones. Now that I've got an idea of what I want, should make it faster. I said it should because there's <laughs> never a guarantee on on work. So I still haven't done as many videos as I was hoping. I was hoping this weekend to do a lot and unfortunately um, life just happened and there was a bunch of other stuff that I needed to do and so in the end I didn't, I didn't film. This is the first video I'm making this weekend and we're already Sunday and next weekend I'm with Diane Rivley uh, for three days so I won't be filming. Um, I'm thinking maybe I can do, uh, I can show you guys uh, per day what I've done. If this is something that interests you guys, of course, because I don't want to bore you guys to death. So I don't know if it's uh, something of interest. I like the edges like this, so I think I'm going to keep them. That and that. Depends on the bird that I put, I guess. I'm trying to find birds that will complement the colors of the paper. Oops. Like this. The question is, do I want to add a little bit of cheesecloth or not? I do like the texture of the cheesecloth. Yeah, I think I'm going to do exactly this. So I can't put anything for this, so I'll do the glue stick. Just so my edge doesn't lift. This one down. I 
guess I had two pieces on there. Oops. Okay, and then I'm going to edge this because it's for the other one. And something to keep the cheesecloth from lifting off. There's already some going through the cheesecloth, that's why I'm not putting too much on here. It's going to stick plenty. So here we go, card number two. Let's get on to card number three. What happened here? It's a little bit sticky. Okay, so card no number three. I do have, I could do something a bit different. And this is really something like this. that and add this and so I want the design on the of the cards not to be all the same. So the other one had torn little edges. This one, if it's only a portion of it, like that. This way it's a bit different, so they're not all the same. It's going faster for the other ones. That's a good thing because otherwise this video would take forever. Um, however, I haven't had any comments recently about people complaining about the length of my video, so I guess the ones that thought my videos were too long either figured out how to speed them up via YouTube's option or they stopped viewing but I'm okay with that I mean my channel might not be for everybody's liking and that's okay Everybody's got different tastes, and I know that some of you guys really love my work, so that's what's encouraging me to keep on doing this. Okay, so put this down. Oops. This will dry clear. There's another card which I think turned out really pretty. So that's card number three. Card number four. Okay, so let's tear another piece. 
and that means I've got a full piece left so I might actually be able to do some postcards out of this piece of paper. I love using it because otherwise, like I said, the, the, the calendar would not be used really. And um, I just find that it's something different and using material that are not specifically made for crafting, which I think is fun. green of this paper with the bird. It fits with them. Yeah, I like that. So before I forget and end up gluing them down, I could have changed the inks and not inked everything with the same ink. My reasoning for keeping it the same is because I'm trying to make this as a set of cards. And this could be a really fun gift that you can make for someone you love. Um, not everybody makes cards, so you could make little sets like this and that they can give out. Which makes me think that I should make some of those for my colleague for Christmas. However, the chances are I'm not going to think about it and uh, I won't do it. Okay, so... And uh, okay, so my two sons are upstairs arguing. I don't think they can be in the same room without arguing with each other. Wait two seconds. Okay, so just had to remind them that I'm filming. I've got a feeling it was going to start the blender and make a ton of noise. Here we go. And I'm almost finished with these little cards. So you can make whatever you want to make right after I finish my video. Because anyway, I need to go upstairs after this to actually start one of my meals for this week. And... Um, Hopefully, then come back and do another card video so that I have one for next week because otherwise, the chances are you won't ha have any because like I said, I'm going to be away for the weekend. And, um, and then I also have to do my take five for the month of June, which I haven't done. I'm behind. It's funny how you think you've got so much time and then in reality when it comes around like you've you're running after your time and you can't figure out why. Um, do I have any ledger left? That's a fun piece with the year. I want to keep the year 
showing. And that one may be showing a bit less. More like this. Okay. And uh, this here. Yeah, I like that. I really like that idea. Okay, so put these down. Okay, so that. And then that piece down. So now all that's going to be left to do to finish this set is to put my stamp in the back of it so that it shows Crafting Vicky. And in case you're wondering how I got my stamp, a dear friend of mine had it uh, custom made for me. And I have no idea where she got it, so sorry guys. Can't help you on that. I almost forgot again. I tend to forget that part of stuff. Okay, so here's that. Um, and uh, close that off. Put this little guy so we can still see the date. And that concludes my five cards. And I've got no idea how long it took. But I've got a feeling it took quite a while. So here are my five little cards. Why do I have four? Oh, five. So I hope you've liked them. I think they're going to be really precious into this little um, book. And uh, like I said, it's going to be in my Etsy store. So if you're interested, go out and check it out. And that, that is it for me. Bye, everyone.